The old West Virginia Penitentiary hasn't been occupied since 1995, but that doesn't mean you can't do some time there. Just don't be surprised if you have to share the place with the spirits of its former inhabitants. Hey, Tom, right? Yes. You're at the old West Virginia State Penitentiary. You are about to go on a historical tour that you will never forget. Right this way, folks. This place was established in 1866 and closed in March of 1995. And when it closed down, it was still the home for about 650 of the state's worst inmates. This was classified as a maximum security penitentiary. You are going to get to see the history of the prison, but we also are going to take you to some of the hot spots for the paranormal activity that we do here. Isn't it true that Charles Manson tried to get into this prison? He did. Charles Manson had family close by here. Back in 1983, he wrote a letter to the warden requesting transfer here. It's not the kind of place you'd really want to get into for if you're the normal, everyday criminal. Or imagine being confined to 35 square feet with another inmate and him being sick. And all you can do is sit there on your bed while he's puking in that little toilet or just using it every day like he's going to do in front of you. Wasn't pleasant, wasn't supposed to be pleasant. Very cold, drafty, and miserable in the wintertime. Hot, stuffy, and stinky with body odor in the summer months. And there again, it was all as noisy in here, and you got 600 inmates screaming and yelling and carrying on. Crazy. Hello? Has this fella shown any criminal tendencies thus far in Not his life? Yet. No? I hope none. No? This is going to scare you straight, isn't it? I mean, you're, you're never going to follow a life of crime now, huh? No. <laughs> I'm going to take you down the hallway, show you the cafeteria that was built for the inmates. All of the silverware was accounted for entering and leaving at the door. They logged it and inventoried it regularly. Tom, they had to turn in their silverware because they could turn those spoons and forks into shivs, right? Into, into shanks, absolutely. And What's the difference between a shiv and a shank, anyway? Well, it's the same, same, same thing, just a different term for the same, same thing. It's a weapon. Over the course of the prison, there was a total of about 500 attempted escapes. Out of the 500 attempted escapes, there were only two that were never apprehended. So what do you think? You think you could handle five to 10 years in this joint? No. <laughs> two to three? No. <laughs> a week. Possibly. Maybe. Maybe. Before we go into the wagon gate, I want you to look over here on your right at this smaller blue building. When this place was in operation, they referred to that building as the OMC, and that was the old man's colony. And that was for the older inmate who could no longer protect himself from being robbed or assaulted by the younger inmate. Tom, was there a special section for the pathetically weak by any chance? Not who pathetic. Wore glasses? No, no. Over the history of the prison, there were a total of 94 executions. There were 85 by hanging and nine by the electric chair. So Tom, this would be kind of considered the maximum security this is maximum, section, right? This is actually like solitary confinement. This is beyond maximum security. The whole prison is maximum security. But this is this is super max. Super max. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I can only describe these men up here, folks, as being mean, nasty, hateful, disrespectful individuals. Their meals were sent over to them from the cafeteria, and they were fed through that mm -hmm. hole at the bottom of that door. Officers would come down through here to check on these men or to feed these men. And these inmates would spit at the officers. The urine. If I'm a guard. I'm wearing a hazmat suit. What the heck? <laughs> well, I'll tell you right now, when, in 1995, when officers came down through here just to feed these men, they put on full ride gear. You'll see some graffiti and stuff on the walls. What you see is what was left by inmates in 1995. An R.D. Wall was considered to be the warden's chief snitch, and he would let the warden know what was going on inside the walls of the prison with the other inmates. And one day, a couple inmates come down in here to pay him a visit. And R.D. was over here. He was actually sitting on the toilet <laughs> when they come down to get him. And they drag him off the toilet and they cut him up and stabbed him and hacked him up. R.D. Wall's spirit has been seen uh, by officers when they were here working in the later years. Uh, are, his, are his pants around his ankles when they find him? I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. And once you're labeled a rat or a snitch, 
just because you haven't done it for a while doesn't clear the slate. And you're a rat or you're a snitch for life. I don't like I don't like the way you're looking at me when you say that. <laughs> what are you suggesting? Something? No, I'm not suggesting. I'm just letting you I know. I didn't say a thing, I tell you. I didn't say a thing. <laughs> Two eyes, a mouth, and a face. You found a ghost? I clearly see a face. Yeah. Yeah, pretty amazing. This whole room called the Sugar Shack. Like I said, it was an indoor recreational area, a strong hotbed for paranormal activity. I've had many, many sightings of things down in this area. And this is the area where I was touched. I just felt a presence on my shoulder wanting me to stop going where I was going. I turned my phone off, and they were taking pictures of it drawing there and that just came on can't get enough of your love the phone has been haunted you need an exorcism for god i think you would have been a good guard something tells me you would have got those guys in line i don't i don't know that it takes a special person to be a correction officer and do the job the right way i'm pretty sure i could handle it i don't know if you could or not get a large gun <laughs> well you need an awful large bazooka gun. <laughs> you go <laughs> bazooka <laughs> Tom, if somebody wants to take the tour at the West Virginia Penitentiary, where should they go? They should come to the lovely Moundsville, West Virginia. We're just 12 miles south of Wheeling. Let me out of here, screw. Okay, go.